All right, good morning, everybody. So today I wanna to show you how we're gonna make eyeballs. So these can be used for mythical creature, they can be used for monster mug, they could be used for people too, if you make it realistic enough. Um, so I generally start off with a small squishy ball of clay, and then I want to make it into a half dome or a really flat kind of like dome shape. So usually what I'll do is I'll keep my thumb in one spot and I'll rotate it and I'll just squeeze my fingers like this to really get it kind of flat. And then once I put it on the table, I can flatten it out just a little bit more because you don't want it to be like, I mean, I guess if you're making a monster mug and you really, really want like the eyes to be bugging out, that's one thing. But most of the time you want it fairly flat. Okay, so we're gonna practice on the table and then you would do this on your actual mug once you've practiced on the table. So if you were adding it onto your actual project, you would need to slip and score this part on. Um, but if you're just practicing on the table, you're just gonna stick it and it'll be fine. So then you're gonna take another squishy piece of clay and this time you're gonna make a basic banana shape. So that just means kind of start with a ball and then roll the edges a little bit thinner. This is gonna be your eyelid. So you're gonna flatten it out just a little bit. And whichever side's a little bit more curvy, that's gonna be the one that you're gonna use for your lid, okay, like this. You do wanna add in that little ball there, or you can, you don't have to, but it's a good idea too. So then you're gonna lay this over the top so it overlaps. And then when you blend, you're just gonna blend the back side, okay? So notice how my finger is not going all the way up here. It's only coming down on this bottom edge. I'm not going up to this top edge. If I go up to the top edge, it's gonna ruin that edge. So I don't wanna do that. So the top part, same thing. You're gonna make a banana or something closely resembling a banana. All right, you're gonna flatten it out just a little bit. Kind of start to get it curved. You don't want it to be super flat. You still wanna have a little bit of an edge right here. And then again, you're gonna kind of curve it. You're gonna set it over the top like this. And depending on how you add this on is it'll help you start to get a facial expression. Cause if you make, leave it really big and make it super curved, that's gonna look different than if you kind of overlap it a little bit. But you're gonna get it on there. Same thing, smooth out the backside. And if you have a bunch of extra, depending on what you're doing, you can either just smear it all off or you can um, leave it. It just kind of depends. There are other shapes that you can use. If you're trying to emphasize the lid, you could make a really big lid like that. Sometimes people have that kind of lid. The other thing is if you're doing a monster that has a significant number of eyeballs, so I'll do some eyeballs real quick. So like say you have a group of eyeballs that you've done like this. You can also take another coil, flatten it out a little bit, and you can go all the way around the eyeballs. You would wanna go all the way. This doesn't quite go all the way, but you get the idea. You're gonna go all the way, and then you're gonna blend again just on the bottom so even if you have multiple eyeballs in the same spot you would go all the way around just like that all right give it a try everybody be creative and have some fun thanks